Off his ass, moving like a fucking zombie. My little bitch, you too demonic. Bad as fuck, like Pocahontas. Ass fast, pokey on him. My little shorty, call the body. We come to shoot up the party. Y'all gon' make me stab somebody. My little shorty with the shit. We ride around, we keep the sticks. My little shorty, stand up. Ooh, hit his face, we finish him. Oh, first guy said, my little shorty, stand up. Hit his face, we finish him. Okay. Long live, it's take your scrap, man. So do you like fear that? Do you fear that? No, I don't fear that, bro. Oh, first grade, but I'm more alert to it because, like I said, I it ain't just me no more. I, uh, my daughter, I'm all she got. So I gotta make I, I gotta make it make sense when when I'm doing shit. When shit going on in my life, I got it. Got to make sense, cause if it don't make sense for it, it it, 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 it ain't no purpose for it. Man, at this point, I I feel like I figured my purpose out for my purpose to be here for my daughter, bro. To make a way for my daughter, for to grow up with a parent in her life. Oh, bro, I'm a dead, bro. You feel like the GDs are being blackballed from the music industry? In terms of financial growth and working with other artists on a mainstream level, the GDs is most definitely getting back on for sure. Young boy showing y'all, even in his, in, even even in his light of fame, right? Young boy just dropped black ball and let my fucking know, oh damn, it's some funny shit going on in the industry. You see what I'm saying? But it. We been screaming that shit. Duck been saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a hater, so I get credit with this dude. Lil J was saying that shit. B and I been saying it. It's a lot of people. They been we buffalo. We been saying like, oh, motherfucker being blackballed at the at the industry. But to see a, uh, another big name, a motherfucker who I already been in the industry that it got rich, went broke, and got back rich. He saying it. Oh, he being blackballed. Now that he into it, the same motherfuckers we into it with. When we was seeing it, motherfuckers was looking at us like we was crazy. Like, oh, y'all ain't being black ball. Y'all just ain't getting on. Cause my, I just I read a comment, motherfuckers say, oh, the GDs ain't being black ball. Y'all music ain't just good. That's a lie. Cause no matter what Doug drop, no matter what Ruger drop, no matter what JoJo drop, no matter what a lot of artists drop from my account, as long as they was from my way, they never got on. See what I'm saying? When AOKD for the first kick started hitting the scene. It went into Dex and them branch from with us it, when they pop. See what I'm saying? A lot of artists is one took it serious or couldn't get in. They couldn't get in the industry, bro. Mm -hmm. As long as they had us attached to them. You know what I'm saying? Dex right. and Duck fell out full blood and got into it. All over the internet. And Dex was just living that folks career, sleeping that folks sleeping that folks career on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Everybody didn't been up. You talking about famous Dex? Yeah. <clears throat> and but in order to in order for Dex in order for Dex to get to where he at right now, he had to separate himself from us. You know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. and it wasn't even, he separated himself on no bad way. Cause it went out. Oh fuck y'all. It was, if y'all want to see me doing good, if y'all want to see me progress, y'all want to see me get to where I'm supposed to be at, y'all understand that I had to do this. Mm -hmm. It was one of those situations. And uh, you got to understand this. And when that shit happened, motherfuckers was young. A lot of motherfuckers ain't understand that shit. Couldn't process it. What, nigga? You was just fucked up. Calling me that day to get high. Now you got some little money, you around a certain type of people. And this is what motherfucker gotta understand. Just because a motherfucker around a certain type of people mm -hmm. doesn't mean that they got that shit. Just because they da. They da. They da for a reason. They da to get to they da to get to that that spot. You know what I'm saying? And, and motherfuckers gotta understand that. And motherfuckers lose focus of that because everybody want a piece of, of something when you got it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> yeah, 
shit, but that's my take on things. Do you feel like, um, uh, I know Famous Dex hasn't been doing too well. Like, I see his name in the articles and shit. We're going back to rehab. Have you, like, been in contact with him? Just, like, as a reason? Truthfully, I haven't spoken to Dex since Dex reached out to me before I dropped my video screws loose. I was dropping snippets of it on my page, and Dex had DM me. It was like, send me this video. I'm going to drop it for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I ain't going to lie. I was in my, I was slightly in my feelings when I came home because I wanted to do music, but at the same time, I was still stuck into who I was. You know what I'm saying? And not really open enough to be, open enough to become someone else. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat new, but at the time, I was stuck in my ways. I'm like, fuck that shit, fuck y'all. He fuck with, he fuck with dude. I ain't finna send him my video, they get some money off my video and feed dude in jail, hell no. Nah. That's in my head, you know, that's me. That's it. I ain't look at it from damn. Folks just reached out and said, hey, send me this video. I wanna, I understand it. I understand it. The end of this, this, this shit at, at the time, at the time. So I made my decision, I dropped it from my, I honestly, I still feel like my decision was right, but I know had I went with what he wanted me to do, that song in particular might could have been bigger than what it is, but it's like, it's a big song. It's actually one of my best songs. But for Tim, y'all tell me, oh yeah, I listen to your music. Oh, but I like this song better though. Feel me? So, yeah. What year do you think the BDs and the GDs will finally get along? Ooh. That's a hard question, even for a person like me, because everybody looking straight off the back. As soon as you said that, people was looking like, oh, he going to say never. I feel like it's going to be generations on down. Like these kids that's coming up, this modern generation, I feel like it's going to come through their generations where any games see eye to eye at this point where they rather if they in Chicago or in another state, another city, wherever, I feel like it's gonna take the kids to change this narrative, to change that narrative because we had already created one. Rather if it was good or bad, but we already created this narrative for this generation. So now it's up to them. But it's up to us too to lead them into creating a different narrative. Because if you got a million of us all thinking like, yeah, when my son grow up, I'm going to have my son and nail something. Then we're going to have over a million young people out here ready to nail something because that's what they did and taught them or that's what somebody in their family taught them. Taught them. That's, what they, that's what they grew up accustomed to. It's up to us too to change the narrative. It go back to stability. You gotta use this up here. You want your kids to live like you? Or do you want your kids to live? I want my kids to take care of me. I want I want my kids to, I want it to be where I did so much in life for my kids to be where they had in their life where I still got my money coming in but my kids doing my heavy lifting. You see what I'm saying? My boy, yeah. Maybe 50, 55. Retire. Retire from all of it. You feel? But that's. I mean, I don't blame you. I would want my kids to, like, just take. I mean, I don't know. Don't throw me in, like, an old time shit. Like, don't throw me in an old, huh? Don't do I'm that. I'm going to have my own career, but for the main, for the most part, I mean, like. Just well, make sure I'm good. Just make sure, sure I'm sure. straight. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all my business. Whatever I make in life, I'm going to make sure my kids get it. Without a question, the moment they old enough to understand their business and, what, and how to run a business, it's going to go to my kids, right? Just don't leave pops bogus. Don't get all my money and leave me dry. <laughs>